Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am going to show you how you can export your wonderful videos after they've been created on CapCut. It's one of the top questions about CapCut, which is simply how to render your videos when you're done. So I'm going to show you exactly how you could do that in this video. Of course, you want to make sure you are logged into your CapCut. And in this instance, we are using the desktop browser. So this is CapCut on a PC, and I'll show you exactly how you could do that on the PC. Now, we want to go to our videos that we want to export. So I'm going to go in my spaces here. And let's say I want to export this video right here. So I'll pick it. Let's say I've done all my edits and everything that I need to do, and I'm satisfied with it, and I just need to export it now. What you can simply do is, as you can see here to the top right, it says export. So you can simply go here and click export. And you have this menu bar that shows, which first of all shows share for a review, share as a presentation. You can also share it on social media, as you can see, and you can even schedule it now. You can also download it right here. And when you go to these three dots here, you could download it as a GIF, but you could also download your captions, whether as an SRT file or as a text file. So the first one we're going to show you is how you could export it to share as a review so people can add comments to your video. And it's quite simple. Once you click export, you will share name right here, whatever you want to call it. So that's what people will see when it's opened. And as you can see, it's exporting. It shows you the percentage at which the export is taking place. Now, as this is happening, you could see here who can open this link? Everyone. So you have the opportunity to have everyone open the link or only members of this space can open the link because after it's done, you will notice here it's not showing yet, but you can copy the link to be able to share it. You can email it and you could just keep it to the members. But that's how you can export it to be able to present it. And now that you see that it's done rendering, as you can see, again, you could change the name here, but you have the link to copy and you can either copy the link here, it shows the link is copied. You could just share with members, share it to space members, or you can send as an email. As you can see here, you enter your email and then you share, which is pretty cool. Now, the other exports that we have here are for you to share it as a presentation. And if you share it as a presentation, you have more options. As you can see, you have the resolution. You can pick 1080p, 720p. You have it all here. And you have the recommended quality, high quality, recommended quality, fast exporting, which is pretty cool. You have your frame rate, frames per second. And you also have the format, whether it's MP4 or MOV. And once you're done, once you've picked all that, it's very simple. What do you do? You simply click export and it gives you the same process again. And as you can see, as it's exporting, we'll go to the right here. You see the privacy is for you to share with everyone or not, or to allow it to be downloaded. As you can see, everyone or private, you can share with everyone or private, allow download. So this will let people be able to download it if you enable it that way. Auto captions. This automatically captions the video and you could pick your source, as you can see, for language, which is really cool. So it's automatically going on there. If you want to show captions, of course, you select show captions and then you can enter your title here. You could enter the description of the video and now you have even more opportunities down here to share it, whether it's to copy the link, embed the link share it via email or on any of these platforms that you have here. But in this instance, you are sharing it as a presentation with all these features, which again is really, really cool. All right, now we are going to go to the download feature. We've gone through share for review, share as a presentation. Now we'll go to download and this is how that works. Once you go to download, you have the options here again to change the name, to change the resolution, and to change the quality as you want and the frames per second and also the file format whether it's mp4 or mov so that's simply how you can export it if you want to download it and once you've entered all your settings here it's quite simple you click export and it starts to export here and again you see the percentage at which it is exporting
And once the export is done, as you can see, it says you can download the video to your device. Typically, if you look to the top here, it's already downloaded. So if you click download again, well, what's gonna happen is you will probably have two copies. So something to take note of. Now, if it didn't download automatically the first time, then simply just click download and then you'll be able to open up your video in your files. But that's how you can export videos on CapCut with different settings. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful content that just makes your life easier. Till next time, take care.